Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the new Android 15 Beta 1. I've got my Pixel 8 Pro here, so we're going to go ahead, install it, and see what we get with the new Beta. Okay, so we finished downloading the system update. We're going to go ahead and click the restart now, let the phone boot up, and then we'll take a look at what the Android 15 Beta 1 brings us. So we'll click restart now, let that go ahead and do its thing and reboot the phone. And then once the phone reboots, uh, we'll take a look. Okay, the Pixel is booted back up. And we should now be on the Android 15 Beta 1. We can go ahead and check that by swiping down, swiping down again, going to settings. And we're going to go down to about phone. We're going to go to Android 14. So it doesn't show 15 here, but if we go ahead and tap on here, uh, we're showing the build is AP1A240502. Let me see if that installed. Okay, so we got this error message, couldn't update. Um, so it says this update will install beta version of Android 15 on your device. Please review our release notes. So I think this has to do with the fact that my phone has not been wiped yet. Uh, so we need to do a factory data reset. Uh, I thought the phone was going to do that for us. We'll go ahead and click try again, see what it does. Okay, so we've gone ahead and installed the Android 15 Beta 1 on the Pixel 8 Pro. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the um, first additions to Beta 1, and that's going to be the wallet. So uh, Google has now implemented a default app for the wallet. Uh, so if we go in here to our settings, and we go to apps and then we'll go ahead and select default apps. We now have a wallet app here where we can actually select the Google wallet. And in the future, there should be some new wallets that we can add and we'll be able to select those here. So that's really cool to see Google is offering developers the ability to add in their own uh, wallet applications. Uh, next up, uh, staying in our settings, we're going to go ahead and jump into the uh, vibrations. So in here, if we go ahead and go back to our settings, we're going to scroll down here to sound and vibrations. And if we click on that and scroll down, we're going to see under the vibration and haptics, we'll go ahead and select that. And now we have an option down here to enable or disable the keyboard vibration. So uh, prior to the Android 15 Beta 1, this was not available, so we can manually turn this on or off to turn off the haptics and vibration when you press a key on the keyboard. Uh, some of the third-party keyboards already have this built in, uh, but this is cool to see that Google has this enabled right on the pixels so we can enable or disable keyboard vibration. Okay, uh, next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the Wi-Fi. So we'll go ahead and go back here to our settings and we're gonna go to network and internet. And we now have under the uh, Wi-Fi settings, if we go in here, let me turn on Wi-Fi. And once we're connected, so we can actually click on that Wi-Fi and scroll down. We now have a new privacy section. So if we select the privacy, we now have the ability to send the device name so we can share the device name with the network, which I think a lot of people will find this useful on their uh, networks. I believe the um, use randomized Mac or use device Mac was already available and that's just been moved here into the privacy section. Uh, one other thing that's kind of cool in here is under the internet. So under the Wi-Fi section, if we scroll down and go to network preferences, we knew, now have this ability to allow WEP networks. Um, so WEP is an older security protocol that's less secure. Uh, so you can turn this on or off depending on if you want to allow or disallow using an older WEP network. So that is another item that they've gone ahead and added in here. Uh, next up is app archiving. So if you're running out of space on your device, you now have the ability to go into an application. So let's just go ahead and uh, go into Amazon. We'll go ahead and go to the info page. And we now have this little button here that says archive. 
And what that's going to allow us to do is to save some space. So let's say we don't use Amazon. We haven't used it in a while. We can go ahead and hit that archive. It's going to go ahead and archive the application and save us some space. And when we're ready to use it, we can go ahead and click on that restore button. And then what that's going to do is it's going to restore all the information. So your login credentials. So that way it saves everything. It doesn't wipe your data. So as we can see that it's restoring here, and you can see in the app drawer that it's downloading the application. So we'll give it just a minute there to install. Okay, so just finished installing. So now if we open up our Amazon, we can see here that I'm already logged in. So if I click on here, we'll be able to see all of my account information. So I didn't lose anything by using that app archiving, which is really cool. And that comes with the Android 15 beta one. So if you're going to go ahead and check this out, uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, you will need to make sure that you unlock your device so that you can flash the beta. Uh, to join the beta, if you've never done it before, you can go ahead and join the beta. Go ahead and open up your browser and type in Android 15 beta. And this will take us to the beta page here. And it will show you um, your available devices that to opt-in. So you'll go ahead and you'll have a button here that says opt-in. You'll follow the instructions. Make sure that your bootloader is unlocked. Go ahead and flash the new update and you'll do that by just going and swiping down into your settings, going to your system, and then you'll go to software updates. And then when you click on the software update, you'll click on check for update. And if there's an update there, it'll push out that firmware for you um, for the new beta. You'll go ahead and install that. Please make sure that you do a backup before you install any beta. Uh, this will wipe your device, um, so it will essentially do a factory reset. And that's all I have for you today. That is the new Android 15 Beta 1. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give us a like. Consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell notification so you're updated when new videos are uploaded. Appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.